Okay, in this example, we'll uh, look at this circuit and repeatedly apply Ohm's law, Kirchhoff's voltage law, and Kirchhoff's current law to find the value of the voltage source Vx. Okay, so let's start at the rightmost 5 ohm resistor. We have a 1 amp current that's going to the 5 ohm resistor, and if we apply Ohm's law, if we apply Ohm's law, we know that a 1 amp current V equals IR. So 1 amp current going through a 5 ohm resistor produces a total voltage drop across this resistor of 5 volts. Now, this 5 ohm resistor is in parallel with this 5 ohm resistor and that in turn is in parallel with the 10 ohm resistor. So what we can say then is that the voltage drop across these three resistors are all 5 volts. So that's 5 volts and the voltage drop there also is 5 volts. Now let's talk about the current. We know that this current is 1 amp. So what's the current through this 5 ohm resistor and the current through this 10 ohm resistor? The total current going through this 5 ohm resistor again can be found using Ohm's law. So voltage is 5 volt resistance is given as 5 ohms. So what we have is that the total current going through that 5 volt, uh, 5 ohm resistor is 1 amps. So we have 1 amp going through here. For the 10 ohm resistor, 5 volts divided by 10 ohms produces a total current of half an amp. Now we have three currents. We have 1 amp going through this 5 ohm, 1 amp going through this 5 ohm, and half an amp going through the 10 ohm resistor. If I look at node, this particular node right here, the total current coming into that node must equal the current going out of that node. The total current coming out of that node is half an amp, 1 amp, and 1 amp, which gives us a total current out of 2.5 amps. That means the total current going into that node must be equal to 2.5 amps. So the current flowing through the 5 ohm resistor is 2.5 amps. Now we know the current through this 5 ohm resistor. Now let's see what the voltage is across this 5 ohm resistor. We have current of 2.5 amps resistance of 5 ohms, so V equals IR, again applying Ohm's law, gives us a total voltage drop of plus minus uh, of 12.5 volt across that 5 ohm resistor. Now for the last part, we know the voltage drop across this 5 ohm resistor, we know the total voltage drop across this 10 ohm resistor, we could use Kirchhoff's voltage law around this loop right here to figure out what Vx is. So let's start from this particular node right here. If we start from this node, we see first voltage source we see is Vx and the first polarity we see is negative. So minus Vx plus 12.5 volts plus 5 volts and we get back to the uh, end of the loop. So just minus Vx plus 12.5 plus 5 must equal 0. If I simplify this algebra, we see that the voltage source Vx is equal to 17.5 volts. So that is equal to 17.5 volts.